Hi everyone, Jeremy here. Thank you for watching today. So in this video, we're going to be making a gift box and it's a 3D building block box. Bit of a mouthful, try saying that three times. <laughs> um, so I've used my Cricut to cut out the letters so that it spells baby. Just move that around. And then I've got this big bow on the, on the top here. This is from um, Simply Made Crafts. And it holds got quite a few in there um five in total baby grows and i've still got a bit of room to add an extra gift to make the base of the box you need two pieces of 11 and a quarter by 11 and three quarters along the 11 and a quarter side you want to score at five and five eighths then rotate your cardstock and score again at five and five eighths and eleven and a quarter so you want to do that on both pieces so we're going to cut both pieces exactly the same so you want to fold and burnish along the score lines so with your half inch tab on your right hand side working left to right we're going to move across to the first score line and we're going to cut up to the first score line Move your way across to the second score line and again cut up to the first score line. Then rotate and remove this rectangle piece like so. So we freed up these two pieces and we have a tab here on the right hand side. And now we're just going to cut some wedges into all of our pieces. Let's just change my scissors for that. So a little wedge off this tab here. This piece here is going to be my back, uh, my front piece, I should say. So I'm just going to take a wedge out of this panel here. Like so. So on the second piece, you'll take wedges out of both of these pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So once you've cut both pieces, you're going to connect them together using this half inch tab. So I'm going to use quick grab glue for this tab here. So connect these both these pieces together like so. Then if you flip it over and fold down the one side, add glue. Got a bit of a blockage situation going on here. Sorry, it's just sorting out my block in my glue bottle there. So I folded the one side over and then just fold over the other side and they should match up perfectly. Like so. So I'm going to flip my box up and I've got the complete square panel here on the right hand side. I'm going to use the claw glue for the larger area now and I'm just going to run glue along these panels here. Like so. And then just place the last one down and it should square everything off. Got a little bit of overhang there. And then just flip that up onto the correct side and go in with your bone folder just to spread that glue out and add pressure to the bottom there. So there's the bottom of the box now complete and I'm going to decorate these panels with a glitter trim so that will sit over the front there giving the illusion of the building block so the size of the frame is five and five eighths squared um, the reason being I wanted to get four frames out of one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock so it's a bit of a funny measurement 
um, obviously you can adjust this accordingly to suit your cardstock and your needs um, and the actual width of the frame is 5 eighths of an inch or just over 5 eighths of an inch so you can use your nesting dies, your trimmer, your craft knife and cut this frame quite easily as it's a sh simple shape. So I'm going to attach four of these on the four sides. I've then also cut the letters baby. So I'm going to attach the frames, attach the letters and then I'll come back to you. So there's the box of or the bottom of the box I should say now complete. So I'm just going to set that to one side and let that dry and we'll work on the lid. So I have a piece of glitter cardstock um, that measures eight and a quarter squared. I'm just going to flip it over to score it because it's easier on this side. And I'm going to score at five eighths of an inch and one and a quarter and you want to rotate and do that on all four sides okay fold and burnish along your score lines so i've gone ahead and cut the one side i'll go through the other side with you now so i'm going to con concentrate on these four squares here so i'm concentrating on the bottom left hand corner and i'm working left to right so I'm going to come across to the first score line. I'm going to cut up past the first to the second. So the first score line, past the first up to the second, like so. So it frees up these two little squares here. So hopefully you can see that okay. And then I'm going to work my way across to the next score line, to the second score line. And again, past the first up to the second. So it just frees these two pieces up. If you've made a reinforced lid before, you'll be familiar with this. I'm just going to rotate and cut away those two outer squares. And then you're left with these two inner ones. And I'm going to remove the bottom square. So you should be left with something like that. And then I'm just going to remove a little bit of a wedge off there. So I'll do it again. So we're working um, right to left this time. So to the first score line, past the first up to the second. Second score line, past the first up to the second. Rotate, remove those two outer squares and the bottom inner square. Take a little wedge from your tab there. So you should be left with a piece like this and I'm just going to take a little wedge off the outer rectangles so all the way around let's take a little wedge so then you're left with a piece like this so we're just going to assemble our box lid now because I'm using glitter cardstock, I'm going to use hot glue. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on this tab here and bring both sides up together and square that edge off. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to hold that in place, flattening out the glue and allowing it time to set and dry. So that feels pretty good to me. So I'm just going to work my way around now and do exactly the same on all four tabs. Pop a little bit of glue there and bring the sides up. So now four tab, all four tabs are attached. I've added some Klar glue to here and I'm going to fold over the tab there just to reinforce the sides. So just go in with your bone folder, work that score line and spread that glue across the sides there. So I'm just going to work my way around now and finish off the rest. So 
So there's my reinforced lid now complete. I'm just going to set that to one side and let that dry fully. I've checked that it fits on the box and it's nice and snug on there. And now I'm going to work on the bow. So the die that I'm using is from Simply Made Crafts and this is the Ultimate Gift Bow die set. So I've cut the largest piece in blue cardstock. This is the same cardstock that I've been using throughout the series. The second largest then with the polka dot pattern the smallest with the blue and i've cut some of the flag ends there or the tails i should say so i'm going to use hot glue again for this so you want to start by curling your cardstock I'm just taking my bone folder and working my way around. Like so. And all you want to do is add hot glue to this piece here and fold it over and place it in the center. So really simple construction. Holding that bottom piece piece in place while I had add had <laughs> add glue to the next piece, and then just work my way around like so. so then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other pieces. Now, as the die goes smaller, you've got more fragile pieces here, so you want to hold that between your finger and your thumb when curling the cardstock it'll help um, with your positioning and the pieces won't sort of tear or snap off so I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the previous piece now I'm going to work on the smallest piece and just glue it in the same way as I did with the others. So I've got all three pieces and I'm going to flip them over now like so and then I'm going to attach this piece into the centre of here. So as you're gluing it you don't want it this on the same like so you would do it as your as you would do with flowers I guess you rotate and you offset the folds or arms I don't know what to call them and just hold that in place giving it time to set like so and then we're going to do exactly the same with the smallest piece again offsetting it like so. so once you're happy with that you can sort of poof the bow up as such just press it in not too hard because you might end up folding the cardstock so I've got my tails here and I've placed one on top of the other you can add tails all around if you wish but I've just placed them like so and then I'm going to add a blob of glue to both pieces line them up pop that on top like so and now I'm going to attach it on the top of the box so a generous amount of hot glue there especially as we're using glitter cardstock just going to put my hand on the inside it's quite hot there not to add too much pressure on the cardstock for it to bow in the center. I've just placed that on top of my box. Hopefully you can see that. I'm still working on my camera setup. 
My dad installed the arm for me, but it's in the wrong position, so it doesn't cover the whole of my desk. It's only cutting half of it off, so I've only got a small um, surface area to work in, so I need to get that resolved soon. So, inside the box, I've got some baby grows, and I've just rolled them up and added a little bit of twine. I'm just going to place those inside the box. like so so there's um five baby grows in there so plenty of room and there's still some space to add an extra gift so there's the final project i'm really pleased with how it's turned out i hope you enjoyed the video and you're enjoying the series so far it seems to be growing every time i make a project i think of something else um so there are going to be a total of five videos she says <laughs> Um, so this is the fourth out of the fifth and the fifth one is just bringing everything together showing all the projects finishing off the final decoration for video one and two and bringing those together any products used in today's video will be listed in the description box below please share the love by hitting the like button leaving a comment or consider subscribing to the channel if you do subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials I always forget to mention that there is a Facebook group called Gems Gems where you can share your makes that have been inspired by my channel or my design team projects. Um, so I'll pop a link in the description box below for that. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.